Hey guys, Jeff with DirtShirt.info. Got a little project tonight, which is a trailer bearing uh, replacement project for a jet ski trailer, single axle. Uh, what had happened was is that one of the bearings had completely um, seized and actually blew up inside the, the hub. So what we're in the process of doing is we have picked up a bearing and race uh, kit for each side of the trailer. And we're in the process right now, we've pulled the hubs off and we're removing the race with a chisel and hammer uh, right now. Uh, so once we get this out, so we've got two of them in each hub, one on the inside, one on the out, and um, we're just sort of hitting that with a hammer until we can actually get, uh, get it out. So well, here we go. I think this will probably be like the final hit. start working on the next one. What we want to do is use one of the old races to press the new race in and what we have to do is we need some kind of a mandrel or tool in order to do that. Uh, we tried cutting this with a bolt cutter and it definitely cut it but it also shattered it. Uh, so right now I'm in the process of taking a rotary tool and cutting a slot into it because we don't when we push both the races in we want to be able to just pop the old one out. Uh, we only want it to line things up, so we need to have a slot so we can make it smaller so that we can pull the old out. So we've got the workpiece on the press here, and the first thing that we've done is set it all up so that the new race is the first thing to go in. The race goes bo actually below this lip, so right now we're in the process of pressing it down till it's flush. Then we'll get the piece that we made with the slot on it and that will cause it to push it further down and there's actually a stop lip inside of it so that's the plan. So now we're using the race that we cut the slot in and we're going to use it as a mandrel to push the new race until it's driven home. Right about here somewhere. Okay, so we just knocked out the slotted uh, race that we used for a tool. Uh, one hit, and you can see down in here where the new race is sitting, uh, there was nothing to it. Popped right out. So the races are in. We had our share of struggles. We used um, some old races to, yes, you know, sort of as tools to get the new ones in. And, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle, but we did get them in. It's, it's not a problem. There's one hub, and of course the other one is laying around here somewhere. Um, but what we're in the process of doing now is, is packing bearings. And the objective of, of packing a bearing is, is that we want to get grease between these two surfaces so that it's actually behind the roller bearing. Okay, that's what packing does for you. Um, what I'm going to do is be really, really careful about keeping my hands clean. Uh, the single exception being is what I'm about to put in the palm of my hand. But other than that, I want to keep my hands really, really clean because as soon as you start getting this kind of smeared with grease, you can't really see what's going on, right? Uh, so let me put this down and I'm just going to grab a, about a silver dollar size glob and just lay that out and get this hand cleaned off. And what I'm going to start to do is just start to work this bearing on, on the palm of my hand and I'm going to start um, moving along really, really gently. If grease starts to pile up inside the middle here, I'm probably going too fast and trying to grab too much grease all at once, right? So I just want to be careful not to do that. So I'm just going to, you know, just grab a little on the edge here and, and start to kind of force it in um, to the underside here so that it oozes out. And I'm watching for that ooze to occur right here in between each one of the roller bearings. And if I'm just sort of patient with it, just kind of use the palm of my hand as a place to, to sort of force it up underneath. And I can just barely start to see it start to ooze up now. And I'm going to kind of go a little overboard here just for the sake of demonstration. And you can see right here it's starting to come out of the bearing. 
and that's exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue all the way around until I get that ooze coming out. Again, keeping my hands clean. I got a little bit, you know, built up in here, and I will just get rid of that. Clean my hand off again, and just work that around, right? And eventually, when I make the final circumference of this bearing, then I'll just put a little bit on the outside, smooth it all out, and that would be considered a packed bearing.